good evening to everyone and welcome to today's session <coughs> can you give me a little mic uh, speaker i invite sarjeet soni jaswinder kau uh, satya shravani rocket trader piyush and many more can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear doctor can you please punch welcome to chai pe charcha for the neat pg 2019 every day with all of you can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear is it clear right let us discuss general medicine for the next one month until uh, you get a good hold that is the uh, best thing that i can be able to do for you um otherwise on the u medico app you have the aims jitma pgi dnb all these question bank previous question papers discussion is already there on the u medico app so in the neurology in general medicine what are the top 22 topics that you need to master based on the last 15 years of the all india and neat pg question bank stroke highest number of questions are asked in the last 15 years seizures meningitis myasthenia gravis neuralgias then motor neuron diseases raised intracranial tension then developmental malformations brain hemorrhages alzheimers myopathies etc etc so i'll try to quickly run through these previous neat pg based uh, all india exam based question bank topic wise uh, in the neurology starting with cerebrovascular accident a patient was brought to casualty in the road traffic accident and the non contrast ct of the patient shows a lesion peripherally which is concavo convex border what is the probable diagnosis is the question of the examiner <coughs> it is a classical story of subdural hematoma is what you have to basically remember uh if you look at the subdural hematoma you all know very well that there is a dura mater which is covering the brain and underneath the dura you have uh, the bleed which lead to compression of the cerebral cortical matter which is called as the subdural hematoma so how does subdural hematoma patients clinically present the daughter in law will tell sir my father in law i love him so much i take care of him affectionately but somehow recently at the breakfast he saying on the he finishes the breakfast after little time he says that hey have you fed me why did you stop me from feeding uh, breakfast that is what he is saying doctor please help him then you will be saying uh, did he fall anywhere no doctor nothing nothing has happened he is forgetting a lot of things doctor oh it is a case of dementia come down by urgency in the night uh, you are the casualty medical officer then the patient's daughter in law will say sir please check this ct scan sir we recently got it done it will have a huge venous bleed classical lesion in case of the subdural hematoma it is almost like a huge crescent which is running what type of bleed is this doctor it is classically the venous bleeding from the breakage of the cortical bridging vessels veins is what you need to remember as you do as you become elderly the brain becomes shrunken and uh, the thin veins which are leaving the diploe they become broken with a very minimal trauma and that lead to a bleed and that presents like a dementia 
and forgetfulness is what you have to basically remember. So now let us talk about extradural versus subdural chemical of favorite question of the exam. Subdural will be diffuse concave kind of lesion. Whereas a biconvex kind of lesion is extradural. Any surface of the brain, entire surface of the brain, the blood splatters in the subdural area. Whereas temporal or temporoparietal is the most common location where the trauma lead to the injury to the middle meningeal arterial blood vessels and that lead to extradural hematoma. There is a lucid interval in extradural hematoma. A person of extradural hematoma after a trauma falls down, then he wakes up and says, Hey, I'm all right, man. Nothing to worry. Please let us go. Let's go. He will be saying few few minutes he will walk forward and then he will fall down. That short tenure of lucid interval is characteristic of extradural is what you need to basically remember. In case of the extradural, you need to quickly operate and drain that extradural bleed and uh, everything depends upon how good is his Glasgow Coma Scale at the time of the presentation which is decided by how big was extradural hematoma is what you need to ultimately remember. <clears throat> so subdural hematoma, it carries a high mortality and there is a shearing force which is leading to it. Patient will have fluctuating loss of consciousness, confusion, headache and because it is compressing the brain, it will compress the midbrain. And if the midbrain is compressed, then the oculomotor and all these structures are affected. So, patient will have a fixed pupil which is dilated, is the presenting feature, is what you need to remember.